example, we talked about XGBoost and how it can be used for regression as well as classification problems. In this video, we're going to talk about KNN classification and how it compares to XGBoost. So I have copied XGBoost DIY4 as copy from the KNN. So it's the KNN file and I just copied over as XGBoost. Now, this would remain same. Let's run this and putting into machine learning, you know, and then this mounting also remains the same. We mounted already. We read the file classification use. So remember the KNN, we use this the same file and then we are going to run it on XGBoost now. So run the same thing and the X and Y remains the same. I ran it already. Then X train, X test, Y train and Y test also remain the same. Next feature scaling. We have to do the feature scaling as we did for KNN. While at KNN, look at my KNN video. This would also remains the same. And then we're going to use import XGBoost as XGB this statement and let me just expand a little bit over here and I'm going to close this section all right so import XGBoost as XGB and you can always look at this code in the Google Drive link which is mentioned in the video description section of this video and then I'm initiating a model reg XGBoost XGB this is XGB dot XGB classifier which is for classification, I'm using 10 estimators and at a learning rate of 0 0.01. Let's talk about what is estimator and learning rate. N estimators are number of learning, number of boosting trees to fit is N estimator. So there are 10 number of boosting trees. I am requesting this classifier to fit. And it can be any number and I'm going to show you how to, to tune hyperparameters as well. And then learning rate is a gradient, gradient descent learning rate. You know, you have to find that sweet spot on the learning rate. And there are a lot of other parameters, hypertuning parameters on XGBoost, which we are going to discuss in a few minutes. Now, let's use this and then do fit and X train and Y train. I'm going to run this and you would see that uh, N estimators are 10 over here and learning rate is 0 0.01 over here and I, after that everything else is by default and in the next section here I'm using this as a variable I'm using reg which is here I define reg dot predict x test so based on x test I'm going to predict and store it in this variable and then I'm going to do a confusion matrix. So running this, if you look at it, the confusion matrix in the last video we discussed about in the KNN, we discussed about confusion matrix. So confusion matrix is 9, 6 to 1. Accuracy is 9 plus 2, 11, 11 by 18, which is not too good. Please look at the accuracy, precision and recall. If you look at the confusion matrix, what we got for from the KNN in the previous video, it was 9, 8, 1 and 0 which is 9 plus 8, 17, 17 by 18 is good, 90% plus. So tune this, I'm going to add few more estimators and I'm going to increase the learning rate to 0.5. It just, you know, you have to do a lot of iterations and trial and error. So there you go, learning rate 0.5, estimators 100. Let's see. So it, earlier it was 9612, the confusion matrix. Now it is 10710. So 17 by 18 is a good prediction, right? So I'm, I'm happy and based on this, I tuned it. Now let's quickly look at what other parameters can be tuned and what they mean. I want to reinvent the wheel and therefore I'm using dataiq.com. I searched on Google, got this website. Uh, max depth is maximum tree depth for base learners. Learning rate is boosting learning rate at what level 
or what rate you want to boost it. We just looked at learning rate and an estimators. And then silent, whether to print messages while running boosting. So silent is true or false. It will print messages while boosting this algorithm. And then you can read objective, specify the learning task. I'm going to expand this as well. And end thread, number of parallel threads to run if you have to run it multiple third threads in case of large data. Loss reduction required, that is gamma, is for minimum loss reduction. You can set minimum child weight, minimum delta step. You know, you can try all these, but I would say use this call sample tree, subsample ratio of columns when constructing each tree. So if you play around with this a little bit, you will find some changes. So please play around. It's, it's all about and you know if it says over here to control overfitting you will use to use max step mean child weight and gamma so try with this you know try this and i'm going to paste this as part of the video over here and you can look at this so this is these are the parameters which you would use for xgboost thank you for watching